I have done nothing but love and support you. I have walked beside you for seven years. And now that I don't, I don't have this apartment to offer you, now that success is in your grasp, you, you don't need me anymore? Your apartment. Well, maybe you even think that you can do better. At least be honest and tell me that, Toby. I just want something different. Did you fuck Adam in Chicago? No. Do you want to fuck Adam? Yes, of course I want to fuck Adam. Who doesn't? I don't. Then there is something seriously wrong with you, Eric. He's gorgeous. There's more to people than beauty. You would have to tell yourself that, wouldn't you? I did not mean that. <laughs> no. No, actually, that's the first honest thing you've said this entire conversation. And, and and since we're finally telling each other the truth, you should know that I uh, I hated your fucking play. Wow, Eric, I never thought you would stoop so low as to lash out like that. That play is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. We're a huge fucking hit and we're moving to Broadway. Yeah, because of Tom's production and Adam's performance. Oh, fuck you, Eric. I worked my ass off on that play. I have been rolling that boulder up the hill for the last decade of my life. And, and, and who, who stood by your side while you were rolling your fucking boulder up the hill? You had the luxury of struggling for seven years because of me and what I gave you. That is bullshit, Eric. What you gave me, you didn't give me anything. I built my life from the ground up. God, I am so sick of your holier-than-thou, thoughtful, sweet, and kind fucking bullshit. Real mm. people are ugly, Eric. Real people are compromised. Real people disappoint each other because the world is ugly and compromised and disappointing. And I'm sorry, I can't be perfect like you. I was never given that option. I have no choice but to be a real person. That is the last thing you are, Toby. You have become so good at spinning people. You think you can spin me I too. I spin anyone. But I know that your book was a fraud from start to finish. And your play, your play was even worse. Not, it, not without talent, worse. Without truth. Toby, you are, are so afraid of actually being known, like of, of really looking at yourself that you have spent the last decade of your life constructing this, this elaborate narrative that has nothing to do with the truth. What happened to you as a child was unconscionable and it hurts me every single day to know that it did. But, but, but that was not the great tragedy of your life, Toby. No, no. The, the, the great tragedy of your life was denying that it was your life and insisting on another at the expense of the truth. I, I couldn't even look at you after I saw your play because it was a betrayal of the frightened little boy that you once were. And soon all of New York is going to see it and I will be the only one who remembers who you really are. And that's, that is why you want to get as far away from me as possible because, because, because I would remind you every day of what a fraud you are and, and what wasted potential your life has become. And, and, and that is what you're too much of a coward to say.